Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Morocco! So guys, it is time to declare war on Castile. And I've been giving it much thought. Since Castile right now is at war with the biggest enemies ever, the Les Français, I feel it is our justice and our duty to finally reclaim the province that they unjustly took from us so very long ago. And I'm going to have to wait for my diplomat to come back, but once that comes back, we instantly only have 40... Four troops. God dang it. More rebels. We have insane amounts of overextension right now, like insane amounts. Well, actually, we're doing pretty fine in overextension. I thought we were really bad, but we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I mean, it's not like great, but it's pretty good. And, but as soon as that's, as soon as that's all ready, we're going to go attack them. Um, in terms of invasion plans, uh, we basically have a ton of army scattered around everywhere. I literally have 20 ship ships right here, 36 heavies. We're gonna win this no matter what they do. It's just how we're gonna win this, that's the thing. I mean, are we gonna do it really quickly or wow? You know what, let's lose 30 legitimacy. I'm already down to zero, legitim zero legitimacy, so it really doesn't matter that much. <laughs> when you're down to 30 legitimacy, you basically have nothing else to lose. Okay. Um, in terms of what we want to go for, idealistic-wise, I want to finish up these ideals. That way, if somebody tries to siege any of our land, they're going to have an insanely hell of time trying to do it. Because look at that. Attrition through 1% for enemies, and look how much my land is. This will literally take them years and years, and imagine the attrition they'll suffer. Oh my goodness, it's going to be insane. So we finally finished up with that. I probably should have saved it for like militaristic wise. Um, but at this point in time, usually mil military doesn't matter that much. I'll be straight with you people. At this point in time, military isn't an insanely crucial thing. I mean, if I was like a backwater, let's also finish up naval ideas, Wade. I've done this before. Don't do naval ideas when you're about to go to war. Well, actually, actually, this would be a good thing, because not only ship costs will go down, but now my ships can actually heal in coastal zones, which is going to be nice. Um, now, let's recall that diplomat. Let's also go recall that. I believe now we have what we need. Uh, some of my diplomats should come back to play war. Let's show superiority. Yes. Uh, that actually gets more people on the side. So we have, so let's see, who will be hating on us? We'll have Austria hating on us, we'll have Anschbach hating on us, Tuscany hating, and Milan. None of those guys sound particularly threatening, and honestly, I don't think they're going to be coming down here to my side. Maybe Austria, maybe, but I highly doubt it. Okay, so let's take advantage of the fact that they are being stupid, and let's do what we have to. Sweden, my only ally, will join in. Thank you, Sweden, the only time you guys have ever helped me out. Oh, thank goodness. Like, seriously, the only time these guys have ever helped me out. My king, Tusky has entered a military alliance. Oh man, this is way too loud. Give me one second, guys. I think this is a little bit too loud. I think I might have turned up the the uh, audio at some point. I don't know when, though. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I can, when it's starting to become louder than my own voice, I realize there's a problem. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, so let's see. Where is their attack fleet? We have an attack fleet right there. See, Tuscany's even losing to my to my light ships. These aren't even my heavies. Those are just my light ships, and they're getting destroyed. Okay, and let's see. Did Sweden join my side? Yes, Sweden joined my side. All these other stupid colonies joined, you know, the Castilian side. Really, they don't matter. <laughs> really, Florida might be a little bit of an annoyance to us, but really, we're the most powerful people in this. And there's no way they're going to try to attack. Hey. Hey, you guys, go break up these guys, okay? I don't want them to siege back this land, because it might be a little bit difficult for us. Okay, but yeah. Honestly, we have a bigger army than most of these guys do, and really, we could probably go attack Spain directly. Uh, good news! Naval tradition! Yay! I love naval tradition, but, like, seriously, like, literally, we even out everyone, and we're literally not that powerful. I mean... This is with everyone included, Castile, Burgundy, uh, Castile, Burgundy, and Tuscany, I guess are the big ones. Those guys even out with us. We are probably like, 
literally as powerful as them. Maybe not technologically as powerful as them, because I do admit that we have not been diligent in terms of that particular thing, but honestly, we're pretty dang powerful. Alright, do I have troops already guarding? Yes. Go stomp rebels over there. Now that we're so dang close, I almost got my land completely united too. That's also why I'm really, really happy. But let's just get to war right here. Let's see, is there any kind of battles I need to kind of be watching? Uh, hostile sieges, let's see, we have a hostile siege right there, hostile siege right there. None I have to really worry about at this point in time. Still got some sieges I have to deal with. Got a lot of diplomats right now, which is really kind of annoying. Am I already at Diplo annexing these guys? I don't believe I am, so... I believe it's not time to Diplo annex, because I just remembered that we're at war. Shoot! That stunk! I was thinking that we could do that, could not do it. Right. Okay, let's get back to the war with uh, Castile. It's really, this is really just a quick war. I'm just doing this because, do I have, oh man, I have too many leaders right now. Really? Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I have two. Oh yeah, I have like the really good, uh, if I really have to be honest, I'm probably going to dispatch the Admiral. As much as good this guy is, he's good at everything, but I like this guy a lot better. His firing is insanely good, and that's what you need about now in this particular stage. Um, and if we start sending men back here, I'm pretty sure France will be able to pick up whatever uh, Castilian's armies try to do. I mean, honestly, they should be. Let's see, uh, Basque. And since now, since we can basically heal up in our own sea zones, that basically means that they have absolutely no safety in any way, so we can basically just destroy anything. Healing up on the sea is now like a cinch for us. So pretty much, how much navy do they have? They have 43 heavy ships. So they have a decent amount. I have to actually be watching out for uh, the seas, but they haven't said anything after me yet, so... Oh, there they are. Okay, so that's where they are. That's where they're heading. Okay. So let's see, they have how many right there? 77. Most 21 are actually heavy ships, and 32, and then light ships. Okay. So most likely, let's see, frigates, nah. Nah, let's not use those. Should we use these? Yes, we're probably gonna use those. Let's see. I know I have I know I have more than one attack fleet. I built like six of them. Let's see. Attack fleet, let's see. These guys. Yes, these guys are my heavily attack fleet on this side of the ocean. So let's see. Most likely these guys are gonna try to attack me on this side. So let's go send our attack fleet to go engage their armies. Because that's just basically their maximum amount of fleet. Go right here. Uh, you guys stay right there for now. When I have you guys, when I need you guys, I'll go have you guys attack. And then let's go have you guys go right here. Go get ready to attack. You guys defeated them. Good job. And you guys can just stay right here. Honestly, I think it's good enough. Ooh, Battle of Sicily. Yeah, apparently one of my chip chips got a little bit. I need to ground some of my ships. You guys go right there, ground them. And let's see. I know there is a lot. I know there is an attack fleet over here. I'm sending my attack fleet to go after you guys. Okay, seems like we have a couple more battles. I have to go see where they are. Exactly where I thought they were. So yeah, I'm grounding all my ships right now. And let's see, still having more rebellions. Definitely not the most stable of times. I'm gonna get my gold though in a couple minutes. The walls are about to be breached. I'm so happy. Let's see, we still got one legitimacy. So everyone, will one legitimacy better. I'm so happy. France is apparently doing a terrible job defending itself. Sweden, I have no clue what they're doing. Um, they're obviously not defending their own land. And do they have any troops? They do have some troops over here, but they can't actually get through because they didn't conquer this little part of Russia. Kind of stupid on your part, Sweden. No offense, but I'd make sure all my land was uh, united. Let's see. Group up all you guys. And let's see. Where's my attack fleet? The attack fleet's gonna have to come a little bit. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get down there, but once it gets down there, it's gonna be fun. Let's see. In terms of ships over here, they don't really scare me because I literally have 65 ships just patrolling everywhere, and they can honestly destroy whatever, whatever they try to. Oh, there's some more Castilian men. There we go. Now that they're all destroyed, bring out the light ships. Bring out the ships. Bring out the light ships. We're going to start a little bit of backstabbing invasions. 
Okay, I'm gonna have you guys be our kind of protectorate ships. You guys be protectorate ships right here in the Strait of Gibraltar. And even with weakened ships, you guys are losing. Wow. That's pretty amazing. I can say that an amazing accomplishment right there. Okay, you guys go right here, group up with these kind of light ships. Just for now, what we're gonna do is gonna use you guys to kind of... Okay, it seems like I don't quite have enough. It's either I don't have quite enough or I have too many. Let's go right here, dock up, and we're gonna group up some of these men. Alright, you guys, get on the ship. It's attached to transport. Alright, now go this way. Yes. Okay, yeah, I guess it was that we had too many. Okay, well then I could just dock up right here. I'll go invade Spain from Cadiz. Because they won't honestly see that one coming. Revolt. Honestly, I can still deal with it. The revolts aren't really getting too bad. Let's see, are my ships over here yet? Gosh dang, where are my ships? Okay, there they are. They're taking... Oh, wait, those are my ships. Wait, where are my ships? Those are my ships, those are my ships, those are my ships. Oh, they're already here. Okay. I was like, where are my ships? They should be around here. Okay. Um, you know, what we need to find is we need to find the uh, Castilian Naval Supremacy place. I don't know where they are. Wow, Bajanica, you guys have really become big. Uh, I don't know where they are anymore. Uh, they seem to have a decent amount of ships right there, but my ships, my light ships are keeping them buried. Where is their fleet, though? That's what I'm really kind of wondering. Like, where do they keep their fleet? I don't know. I guess when I see him again, I'll have this army, this heavy ships, and these heavy ships go engage him. Should be able to destroy him, no problem, considering we are pretty advanced in terms of shipbuilding-wise. Okay, once these troops land, I'm going to go instantly send these other troops to land, and then go send the other troops to land. Should have two good armies on Maluka, basically guarding, and since this is already defended, we should have a pretty good army around here. So Spain's going to be pretty worried about this entire area. Especially considering I basically own it. So, bye bye Spain, I guess. It's finally, this is finally the retribution we get, guys. This has been a long time coming, Spain. Don't worry. For all those times you picked on us during the beginning get parts of the game, it's time for it's time for Morocco to fight back. And, and we're going to see how well you guys can handle it. Let's, let's really see how well you guys can actually handle a real Morocco attack. Okay, colony damaged. Oh, yeah. Hey, you guys go right there. Just to guard that colony because it's like the only ones we have left. Apparently that, that place is instantly converted to Christianity. Even though it has zero people in it. What? <laughs> okay. There it is. Alright. There's the attack fleet. Okay, okay. Okay. We got our ships here. Go after that. We're going to go engage that with both these ships. I don't really want to combine them because I want to make sure that we keep the division of how we kept it equal. All right, you guys are grouped up right here, attached to these guys. Go out. And then we're going to have you guys attack on right here. We'll have both the armies probably attack that 17k just to destroy it. I want to utterly destroy it like nothing is left of it. Okay, you guys go land. Yes, the Battle of Tabor. Not really a battle, I'm guessing. Just kind of a slaughter, really. Let's go land right here. Almost there. And... Boom. Okay. Let's go get the next wave of men. Let's go see that. Let's go make sure that the battle over here is going fine. Uh, they apparently fled again. Okay. I have to figure out where they are. So I'm just gonna... I'm just going to keep my men right here, because they keep coming past this way. I don't know why, but they keep coming past over here. So when they come past here again, I'm going to destroy them. So we're just going to be hiding and waiting for when our chance to strike comes. Over here, though, we're just basically going to evade and destroy whatever Castile built up, because this is... Castile does not realize how much we have been wanting to do this, I guess. This has been, this has been kind of one of our goals in the back burner of our heads for a very long time. And it's finally time to do it. It's finally time to retake a lot of our once promising land. And let's see, how much men do you have right now on your continent? Oh, I'm not going to let you group up with those guys. Sorry. You guys aren't... Uh, wait, are you guys attacking me? Wait, wait. We'll head to Cadiz. You, do, what? You, you guys are attacking me with a 14k stack. Uh, Castillo, that's pretty suicide. Even for you guys. It, guys, guys, that, that's a suicide pact. You guys are going to side your own death. 
I mean, please do it. Please attack me with a 14k. I would love to see this. Okay, I would love to see you guys attack me with 14k. Okay, and France apparently drove off the Castilian army down there. I'm pretty sure the Castilian army is gone, I'm guessing. So I'm just gonna go start attacking these guys. Yeah, you bet you either attack or you guys are gonna die. So decide your fate now. Gains of diplomatic insults. You know what? Let's become happy friends with everyone. Why not? And then you guys will kill off these guys. Apparently they have a little bit bigger than I thought. Just go send in this much. This much should be able to destroy whatever they have. Boom. Bye bye, Castile. Yeah, 67 men versus 6 men. You're not going to win that. Go destroy these guys. Yeah, bye bye, Castile. No way are you surviving my wrath. You may kill more than me, but may. I mean, you might kill more than me. You may. You might. May. Oh, yearly inflation reduction. Let's get that right now. Do we need anything else? Actually, I think we might need to actually tech up a little bit before we do that. Uh, France is right now 25, 25. Yeah, we do need to tech up just a little bit. So I actually will refrain from doing what I was about to do because we actually do need to tech up. Okay, we don't see the army over here. Oh, I see those fleets. I'm going to go destroy them. But let's get back to over here where I am destroying the last little bit of Castilian's army. There we go. It's all dead. It's all gone. So let's just start branching out from here. I think we could just safely carpet seeds because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure France destroyed most of the army. There is like a 10k stack right there, but that's not really enough to really cause me difficulties. Oh, shoot. Okay. So let's see, we have a 10k stack, and we have... Okay, you guys go group up right there. We have a 10k stack, and we have a 15k stack. Never mind, they're probably... They're, they're a little bit more armored than I thought they were, but... I doubt they're gonna attack. Especially as quickly as we're moving in. They're not gonna attack. Hey! And would we want anything else out of this? Well, I personally... If I have to do anything, I want to end this vassalization of Burgundy. Because this is complete and other, like, BS right here. We have to end this, otherwise, otherwise, uh, Castile will be an all-powerful nation forever. I mean, literally forever. We will never be able to do anything with them. And they will always have this safeguard of having, like, the Burgundies to help them out. Which is what we don't need, especially if we ever want to go to war with them again. And if we can, I'd love to get Tangiers, but I'm not sure. Maybe maybe this will decline. Maybe the amount of war score we're going to need will decline as soon as we release vassals, but I'm not sure. By the way, is this under a personal union? I'm pretty sure it's personal union. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but we definitely need to end it because, yeah, it's just it's just way too overpowered. Um, Over here, mm, ground all my units. Ground all my units. This is why I don't do this. Ground them. Ah, oh, man, that was a stupid... They sent their entire army all the way over there without me noticing. Okay. You want to fight that way, Castile? Let's go fight that way. Okay. That's another, like... That's actually going to help my economy now that I think about it. That's actually going to... Yeah. Well, not as much as I usually do. Raise wartime taxes just because we can. 46k. We're going to be making money for a long, long time. And let's see... Conquered so far, we still have to do that. Uh, but they're honestly going to be destroyed, and I'm honestly going to go. I'm watching that fleet now. I am definitely... I'm, I'm watching both the invasion and that fleet. Seriously, I'm on the warpath of both. Kunit stands being destroyed. The Great Encroach is also being attacked. Let's see, my fleet is coming up to go destroy these guys so heavily. Because I am so mad at these guys. Okay, they're trying to retreat. Oh, yeah, you guys, you guys are not retreating. I'm following you guys. I'm following you. So there's somewhere over here. And they're probably... What I'm guessing is they're probably going to... Their holdings right over here in La Plata. Okay, Grain Coast. Good. Alright. Some of the men got occupied by uh, the British Army. The British? That's good. Uh, our inside forces are still here. I think only a couple of my navies actually got destroyed, which is good. That's seriously annoying. You guys dock up a little bit. Uh, let's see, you guys, you guys are safe. You guys are in a entirely different sea zone. Man, that makes, that annoys me so much right now. As soon as I find that fleet, man. As soon as I find it. Okay. Let's see. And if I cannot get what I want out of this war, in terms of, like, breaking the alliance between these two guys, 
Because I'm pretty sure their war just ended, I'm guessing. Yep. Now they're fighting me. Because they realize I'm the bigger threat. But hopefully they... I'm hoping that they'll realize I'm still... Uh, well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.